so hello everyone in this video we'll be working on box shadow uh, classes so you can go to the official doc again and you can see the classes are here and what these classes will actually apply the property is you can see here so these properties or these classes will apply these properties so you can explore more in more detail let's work on the practical manner so here i can add a box shadow just like adding this shadow class and after that i can specify what type of shadow i want for example if i uh, want a less shadow so i can add a shadow like this so it will have the shadow but if i increase that to more then that shadow will be increased you can see that the background is a little bit shadowish similarly you can increase that to 2 pixel if you want also you can change the shadow color if you want or you can also provide the arbitrary values which i told you that uh, you can specify here just like you do in normal css you provide uh, some values for vertical and horizontal axis then you provide some blur and then you specify the color for example red so you can specify that okay let me check that once again okay there is no space here you have to put underscore in between that is the thing only then after that it will work you can see that so it is our custom shadow actually so you can add that like this by your own values or if you want uh, the predefined values so you can also do that also you can specify uh, some colors if you want let me just add some shadow if you want a shadow of different color so you can specify the color just like the background color you we specify like bg and then color similarly we can specify the shadow color after specifying shadow and then for example if i want indigo 500 so i can specify that so just like this so you have to specify shadow and then the color name and after that you can specify what kind of or like intensity of that color should be so you can see that it is having the shadow or different color similarly you can go for any color you want for example orange so it will take the orange shadow color so this is how we provide the shadow color and in here also you can specify the arbitrary values like any color code you have you can specify that if you want or any color name you want to specify that also similarly we have opacity property opacity in that you have to specify uh, the length like how much intensity of that uh, that color should be so if i increase that number to 20 or decrease that number to 20 so you can see that it is less opaque so it is being transparent but if i increase that to 770 so that will be much more visible than the earlier one also in that you can specify your own custom values just like we did in the other ones by using arbitrary values so this is actually the opacity property so i think in this video i want to tell you only these things uh, how you can add box shadow and opacity in the next video we'll be working on flexbox so let's meet in the another one thank you for watching